Hi, this is Jennifer S. Charles 12. Um, I want to do a quick video about the 20 day, 21 day challenge that I have already started. I started it um, Monday. Um, I was going to start it on Friday, but I decided to go ahead and start it. It's a challenge um, by Eric Thomas. Um, he's a motivational speaker, um, the hip hop preacher. Um, I watch a lot of his videos about um, starting your own business and um, kicking bad habits, and he, he just, um, he's someone I really um, admire, um, so it's not that I'm trying to start my own business, it's just that I've been, you know, for years trying to kick um, a bad habit of compulsive um, spending and saving, I've been trying to um, save money for an emergency fund. Um, like if my car would break down or, um, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I do have an uh, IRA uh, fund that I've started, and the money is building up very quickly. Um, but I would like to save money in a savings account. I did start a Christmas account um, club, and they give you the money in, I think, o October and November. So... You know, that's not going to be that much money because I just started it. So I think it's going to be a few hundred dollars or something like that because um, I just started it. And they're going to take um, $20 every paycheck. And then I have another savings account where they take out $20. So that's um, $40. And then my IRA, they take um, $50. So, um you know, I have several savings accounts, but I have a um, personal savings account, which I would like to have a thousand dollars in that for emergencies. Plus, I would like to, um, I budget my money every month, but I never um, budget for like um, clothing and, um, you know, non-essentials like that might come up. Like if something comes up, like if my son needs jeans or um, if the kids need coats or anything like that, then I just, you know, buy it over out of the money that I have left over after I pay my bills. But um, what I would like to do is um, start a savings after I, after I um, start the emergency fund, I would like to start, start a savings so that if something comes up, you know, I could just pay it out of my savings. You know, like if the kids need coats, if the kids need socks, if I need um, a new dress or, you know, I'm not going to be compulsive spending. That's why I want to quit the compulsive spending because like from day to day, like I'm a housewife. And so like if I'm at the CVS and, um, and I see something that I want, then I'll just buy it. And so I want to cut down on the compulsive spending. And, um, and it, with Eric Thomas' videos, I'll, I'll put a video below some of the videos that, of his that I, I've been watching to motivate me to do. And he, he, he has promoted his 21-day challenge, um, I think, in the past. And then he has a current one going on now. And... Um, so I've already started. I have money in my savings now, so I'm not going to touch it unless I have a necessity that I have to spend it on. Um, so, um, like when I get paid, I'm just going to pay my bills and um, and necessities. Because like when I get paid, I buy groceries. I pay my bills. I buy groceries. I buy like the necessities for the house, and then. The rest is just, you know, like picking up my medicine and um, then pretty much after that is um, money that I can be saving unless, um, you know, there's a necessity that needs to be brought. There's no need for me every day to be buying coffee or, you know, or anything like that because usually I just save my change in the house and, you um, you know, there's no reason for me every day to be thinking of reasons to go to the store to pick up cough drops or to pick up gum or, 
you know, and sometimes when I get in the store, I pick up other things that were unnecessary for me to purchase, like candles or, or anything unnecessary, and sometimes it leads to bigger things, and now I'm kind of addicted to the um, Quest bars, um, but there's other things that I can eat. When I, when I go grocery shopping, I buy other things that are low points on Weight Watchers that I could be eating, but a lot of times I'll um, invest in the Quest Bars, and as a lot of people know, um, they're very expensive. I do have, I got a GNC membership, so they're a little bit cheaper because with the GNC membership, you get like 5 or $6 off the Quest Bars, but before, I was buying them offline, and they were very expensive when I was buying them offline. So now I go to GNC and get them, and I get them, you can buy them either individually, or you can um, get a whole box and get like $6 off. So, um, yeah, so I found out about that. But it's like now I'm addicted to them, and so I've been wasting a lot of money on those. And so I'm going to try to go without those um, during my 20-day challenge and just, you know, drink, buy the, eat the food that I buy at the um, Kroger. <coughs> But during this 21-day challenge, I'm hoping that it goes well and I can keep my um, stuff out the store and, um, and do very well. Because a lot of things I can, and um, one thing that he says is be deliberate, be intentional, and be strategic. And so that's what, what I'm going to keep in my mind if I try and purchase anything. And I, I wrote a lot of Bible scriptures on my um, check registry. Because anytime I buy anything with my um, debit card, I write it down in my check registry. So, you know, so when I look at my check registry, it'll remind me. And they said if in a lot of the videos that I've been watching, if you go to purchase something and you think you shouldn't purchase it, you get a bad feeling, then put it on hold at the store. And then maybe when you go home, you'll, you'll think about it and you'll decide that it was a bad idea. And then um, you won't go back and purchase it. Because sometimes I'll just leave the cart there or leave it in the aisle. Or, um, but I don't like to do that to my kids because then they'll be upset because maybe it was something that they were going to get or, you know, or something like that. So I try, not, I try and just stay out the store because then my kids think, oh, can I get this, Mommy? Can I get that? And then... I'm in the store, you know, getting them upset because, you know, I made a bad decision. So I'm just going to try and stay away from the store if if my intentions are not to buy anything. So um, I'm hoping that this, you know, this, I've been on the challenge for three days. I have not purchased anything. Um, so I'm happy about that. Um, but it, it's, um, it's really hard for me because... Today, when I went out, I was thinking about going to the Kroger's to buy some things, and um, I'm just going to wait till I get paid, get because I, I, only, I only spend $200 for the month on my groceries, and that's all I intend to spend, so um, I'm just going to stick with my list, and um, stick with my list when I go to the dollar store to get the toiletries, and um, that's what I plan to do. Comment, rate, and subscribe.